Yo, welcome to Small Mouth Crush. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I find a little bit of extra cash to help pay for my fishing addiction. Coming up. Okay, you got a derby coming up in a couple weeks. You want to buy some new gear. You want to buy that latest and greatest tackle, whatever the case. But the budget's run dry, right? There's no money left. Well, hey, I can relate. I buy a lot of fishing gear, and it is expensive. You can go down to the retailer, fill up a basket, half a basket, quarter of a basket, full of worms, spinnerbaits, and jerkbaits, and you're already at two, three hundred bucks. You can go online. I mean, that can get outrageous, right? Two, three, four, five hundred bucks and a box this big shows up at your house. You're like, really? At least you got a free sticker and a hat, perhaps. But there's got to be a better way. So if you're a lot like me, you probably have a lot of gear laying around. Perhaps some tackle, some rods and reels, things like that that you don't use anymore. Man, why don't you go out and sell that stuff? See if you can get some money for it. Turn that around, take that money and go buy the equipment that you really want. That's what I do all the time. Um, it's a great way. So I'll go and look around and search for stuff that I know I'm never going to use again. If I can part ways with it, there is someone somewhere out there that wants that piece of equipment, wants that rod, wants that reel, and they're looking for it and they're looking for a deal. And so you can provide that okay, for So them. how do I gather up all this equipment and put it online to sell? What are my options? Well, there's quite a few options actually. Um, you know, everyone knows of eBay. You can go in there and buy and sell equipment, fishing gear, tackle, anything you want really. Um, I've used it. There's a little bit higher fees associated with eBay, so I don't use it as often because I, I have found some better options. There's also a lot of forums on Facebook. So you can go on Facebook and join a, a, a group that sells fishing gear, you know, bass tackle, buy and sell, things like that. Great place to sell your equipment and buy your equipment. Um, we got Craigslist, right? I've had some pretty shady experiences on Craigslist in the past. And so I don't, it's not really that viable of an option for fishing gear and tackling equipment. I don't like meeting someone. In fact, I always, if I do sell a piece of equipment online on Craigslist, you know, I'm at a remote parking lot, not a remote parking lot, I'm at a, a remote location next to, you know, a grocery store or something and we meet in the parking lot it looks like a drug deals going down you feel shady and dirty doing it just not my style so I actually found a website I've been a member of this website for years probably since I really got interested in bass fishing uh, I think 2007 but it's BassBoatCentral.com BassBoatCentral.com is a community of online people just like yourselves that are begging the bass fishing and you can buy and you can sell your equipment on there. They have forums. It's all broken down. So rods, reels, tackle, uh, electronics, trolling motors, uh, props, miscellaneous. You name it, it's on there. I bet you I've sold thousands of gear on there and bought quite a bit as well on Bass Boat Central. Uh, you can you can actually sell your boat on there. I've sold three of my boats, uh, three of my bass boats on on BBC in the past, and I've never had a problem with the transaction. It's it's perfect. I mean, it's it's awesome. So if you're not taking advantage of that website, I encourage you to do so. I'm gonna actually walk you through how to get something, get some type of piece of equipment online, and how to sell it on BBC. So I'm gonna take you step by step and just kind of show you the lay of the land there. But first, I need to go find something to sell. Okay, we got her. I got an old Mercury Fury prop that I don't use on my boat anymore. Just laying in the garage, not doing me any good. I'm sure someone somewhere out there would love to get their hands on this, especially at a discount. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I would take a prop and actually post it online to Bass Boat Central and hopefully find a, uh, find a buyer to get me a little extra jingle to maybe buy a new rod. We'll see. 
Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make sure that whatever you're selling, in this case the prop, that it's presentable. And so I'm going to clean this up a little bit and just make it nice so um, I can take some good pictures with that. All right, after you cleaned it up, you're going to want to check for anything that may be wrong with what you're trying to sell. So in this instance, I'm going to feel the blades itself and make sure that everything's smooth, that there isn't any marks on this prop, and just do a real good thorough check. You just want to be able to relay that information to whoever's going to buy it. You don't want them to have any surprises. You just want to make a smooth transaction. So I've noticed a couple pit marks here in the blade, which of course doesn't affect the performance a whole lot at all but you you do have to make people aware that there are some marks on that blade so I'm going to take some real good pictures um, up close of those marks I'm also going to get some different angles you want to make sure you have plenty of pictures so people can see what they're actually buying and make them feel comfortable So I try to save the original packages of items I've purchased in the past. I have a whole closet in the basement full of boxes. So I'll be able to go down there and, and try to find a, a box for that prop. I'm sure I have the original box in there somewhere. And it just helps. Uh, people like to have the original boxes. And it's real easy, especially for a prop. I've had to ship props in makeshift boxes. And it just doesn't work out. They have some extra material and padding in there. Uh, that's another thing you want to keep in mind is if you're selling anything that's uh, breakable and valuable, you want to put bubble wrap and um, you know paper in there just to make sure it doesn't shift around when you're mailing it. You want that product to arrive as is, uh, just like it, it is when, you, when it left your house. I'm going to walk you through how I would set this prop up on Bass Boat Central. So go to Google. Bass Boat Central will pop right up. Takes you to the home page. And then under BBC Boards, this is where all the magic happens. There you see my profile name, Smallmouth Crush. Any notifications that I have. A lot of it's from people that bought or products that I've bought from. You're going to have to become a member. It's free. So there's a, a small process to sign up just got to pick a screen name and some other general information another thing is you're going to want to have a paypal account that's the easiest way to um, buy and sell products it's pretty easy to set one up it's very convenient they are going to take i believe it's 2.9 percent of the sale price plus 30 cents per sale as a fee but it's extremely convenient they have a lot of perks Going along with that, when you do get paid, you can direct that money straight into your checking account. Uh, I think they'll even mail you checks as well, so it's very easy. So here we're actually on the forums. A lot of great information, anything about props right there, electronics, trailers and towing. I mean, there's everything. There's different boat brands. I go on the Legend boats quite a bit, see what people are saying, answer any questions. Mercury Forum, Fishing by State, Bass Clubs, and as you go down further, you'll see Swap and Sell. So lures and fishing stuff, this is great if you want to find a deal on uh, on baits. So if you had some baits, I mean, look at Risto Wraps. They don't even make these anymore. Bunch of Risto Wraps still in the packages. And, um, you know, people are buying them like crazy there. I actually just found some Rick Klun, some tungsten weight, fluorocarbon lot. So here's a Rick Klun 3.5s. And this dude here goes, I'll take them. Of course he will. I missed that one. So there's some, yeah, some strategic planning that goes into when you're selling products. So let me just continue down. Rods and reels, electronics, miscellaneous, props, trolling motors. So... Props is where it's at. We're trying to sell that 24 Fury. I need to find out what other people are selling. If there's other 24 Furies in the first couple pages here. And find out what they're going for. So here's the 24 Fury 3 blade, which is what I got. 
This guy says it's a 6 out of 10, so it's a little beat up. A few dings. There's some pictures, but you can't click on those to make them bigger. So, 250 I mean, that's a deal. To your door. TYD means to your door. He's paying 25 bucks at least to ship that. Um, that's a heck of a price. Although it is, it looks like by his description, it might be a little beat up. Still a great price for that prop. I'm not going to be selling mine at 250 Let's see here. Here's a 24 Fury. So this guy says it's pretty much brand new. 375 ship. That's really where it should be. Uh, a few days later, he dropped it to 350 350 ship and PayPal firm. That's that's a heck of a good price right there. You can't complain. Uh, so we got guys asking questions and pending. So somebody may have messaged him privately, maybe offered him a, a, a price and he took it, or perhaps it did sell for 350 That's just something for me to keep in mind. And then go down a little bit more. We see here, this guy, this is a 25 Fury. Just looking so no visible nicks or dings. I believe my prop's probably going to be an 8. 8 out of 10. Hold on one second. Oh, this is that. Go ahead, caller. Oh, I'm sure you did. If you'd like an automated way to generate several thousands of dollars a week, I love it. Part -time from home, That's it, part time? I have one question All right, for you. Just hang up on what that. Would you be doing right? I'd be fishing right now. Okay, getting back to that. I'm sorry about that. It's the second time in a row this morning that numbers called me. All righty. Where were we? Okay, this dude wants 270, 300 shipped. That's a heck of a price. He says um wasn't polished after being worked on for some reason. So my prop was actually worked on, and I feel it was the same way. It wasn't polished. doesn't have that real nice shine along that edge that a new Fury would. So that's really good to know. I think my prop fits right in this category here. He's asking 300 Here's the deal. I want to get mine moved. Because I need cash, right? This is about getting cash so we can buy some more equipment. Um, he's had this up since March 2nd, so eight days ago. If I want to sell my prop, I'm going to probably ask... I'm going to do 290 shipped. So, sorry about this guy here. But if I do 290... The more people will, will probably buy mine first. It, his will sell. These props sell eventually. It's all about how many props are on this board at the given time. And that'll dictate the price. So if I want to sell mine fairly quickly, I think 290 shipped is going to be a a good price. And you can't beat that. Um, I'm happy with it. Whoever buys it will be happy with that price. And so... We'll go from there. I'll show you how I will actually uh, list that up next. Okay, so to post to the prop section, um, let's go under prop and you'll see post new thread. So I hit that. And then we want a title. And I'm going to write Mercury. Theory, three blade, 24 pitch for sale. So now Furies have a four blade as well. So I'm going to put three. Otherwise, you're going to get someone going, is that a four blade? And then we need to write a description. So I'm just going to write prop is a. Okay, so basically it says, okay, so prop is an 8 out of 10. It has been blueprinted, which it has, and it's been worked on as well. There's a few small pits located inside the blade, but nothing that would 
you know, obviously affect performance. The edge of the prop has been worked on to smooth out the edge. So it does look like it wasn't polished afterwards. Uh, I'm asking 290 shipped. And now I'm going to add my photos to that. Okay, so I'm adding some pictures. And one thing I want to show is, for instance, when, I, when sometimes the picture is too big, and it happens a lot when I take it with my phone for some reason, um, I'll have to uh, click on the image. And then I'll go up to uh, Tools. I'm sure it's different with everyone's computer. And adjust size. I already adjusted this one. I did a... Uh, a custom size to it so you might have to pick like 1024 768 or 1280 1024 to get the picture a little bit smaller so it will uh, work in this forum so I already went ahead and did that to all of the pictures and I hit published and now I'll show you what what it actually looks like. So you can see the prop in good detail. See the blades. And I should be live. I can go to props for sale and I'll see it. Here we go, the Mercury Fury 3 blade. Smallmouth Crush, my username. One view so far. And you can see underneath, like this guy got 664 views, different replies. You'll also get notification. If someone's interested, has some questions, if they want to purchase it, um, they'll probably write right underneath and say, I'll take it. And then you just have to uh, message them your PayPal information and they will get that money sent out to you. And once they do, I'll normally mark, like I'll make a reply uh, pending sale, you know, pending payment sold pending payment and if that person backs out or someone else is interested they can reply underneath you know if this sale falls through i'm next in line just help keep things straight and uh it's very simple it's a great website got a lot of good good resources other than buying and selling so i encourage you guys to uh definitely check out bass boat central when you can all right, I'm just going to wrap this up, put a little paper around it, make sure it's taped up good, and send it on its way to its new happy owner. Probably use FedEx. They're going to be the best for the bulk shipping. I do use the uh, USPS quite a bit for rods. I can ship a rod for about $20. Priority mail, so that works out there. So there's a few options. Hope you guys learned a few things about how to make some extra cash selling your old equipment so you can buy new ones. All the latest and greatest. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave any comments below on what items you've sold in the past or what uh, outlets you use to sell your items. Love to hear about it. Until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.